Hey guys, wanted to show you here something really great to help all baseball players that are in high school really start to really sophomores, juniors, and seniors, really sophomores and juniors going into the process to start trying to get private scholarship money. Now this is pivotal. What most players make the mistake of doing is they are just looking for the baseball scholarship money. Well, that is few and far between. It also limits them because if there's a potential to get a little bit of money at a school where they can play baseball athletic money from that school, it may just be a small percentage. And then if the tuition is too much, it really either puts them in debt or it balloons out where they cannot afford to go and have that opportunity. And so this is a way that players can have that opportunity. They just have to be diligent and plan. Uh, but there are companies all over the United States that are, are literally looking to give away money. Um, and they have these different essays and different different criterias to give the players uh, or, or, or students the money. But they have to apply it. And it's, it's actually a simple process. I'm going to show you how it can be done where they can come out of high school uh, with tens of thousands of dollars of private money that can go towards their tuition. And so there's a lot of kids out there that are getting jobs and different different things, which is great for work ethic, but from the financial standpoint, they just sit down and work through the process I'm gonna show them, they're actually gonna be able to come away out of high school with some uh, some money to be able to put towards the tuition that really helps them open up the opportunity. So I want to go through this. I want to show you exactly what we're looking at here. And so this is called Unigo, U-N-I-G-O.com, Unigo. And so when you go to this site, it's really simple. You'll go ahead and make an account. But what players will want to do, and I kind of want to walk you through this because we've used this and we've had players have success with this. There's a couple different ways to find the scholarships they're looking for. And so um, by major, some students know exactly in the area in which they're passionate about and they want to go into. That is a great opportunity here. They have them divided by majors. So if there's specific content for private money um, with, with uh, essays or assignments and they give the awards out, this will be their ticket here. And so we encourage students that have an idea of what they want to major in or what their interests are to go there and start there. But really, the majority, we usually have them avoid, avoid um, this section here, types of scholarships, just because it's a little bit difficult uh, to find different things. The athletic scholarships, we have them bypass that. This is not where athletic scholarships are going to come from. And so this is just part of their site. If you go through this and you start messing with it, um, it's not going to yield a lot of fruit. And so here is where we have our players kind of go through and really dig in. So company offered awards. So companies like Amazon, Walmart, what you're going to see is they have all these different awards that they're giving out. And so we want to go through this and I want to show you what this actually looks like. And so they divided it up into a couple different categories. So food and beverage company sponsored scholarships. That's always a good go to. Um, because they're more generic in the sense of there's not a lot of criteria where your parent would have to be in this career or they have different things. So if your, your parent is a veteran or if they're in the, the medical field, there are scholarships there as well. And so that's one of the criteria. And then you go ahead and fill out their essay or their assignment. Law firm scholarships, we find uh, that those don't tend to be necessarily specific to the law sometimes. So those are great. And then medical medical company sponsors. So you'll see that there's some different retails good too. So between retail um, and the food and beverage, there's, there's not as many stipulations on them. And so when you go through this, uh, players will go ahead and read through what they're looking for. And so what you'll see here is this company here, tigerchef.com, $2,000, there's two different awards. There's a deadline and they can go through it. It explains what they need to do, what their topic of the essay, five to 600 words. So now we're looking at five to 600 words. If this were, and we look at this mathematically, when you go through this, KFC has one uh, and they're giving a lot of awards out. So um, that's a great part. So you look at KFC Foundation, you, you wanna look through and see exactly what the specifics are, but they're giving away uh, $162,000 over 54 awards. That's money that they're writing off that they need to give away uh, for a lot of their business strategy. And so those guys are getting it anyway. And so if a player goes through and they spend, you know, about 20, 30 hours into this is what we have found. And they're pr producing an essay and it's original and it's to the topic. Number one, they're sharpening their skills. Not something that they're gonna wanna naturally just voluntarily gravitate to. But when we put it in the numbers, uh, let's say they spend 30 hours doing this and they start to you know, receive a, a, some of these uh, awards and you divide that, it's way more than they would make working and it's way more than they would make 
uh, working while they're on campus at a college, uh, while, they're, while they're trying to do studies. And so the benefit is to do this now. And then the other thing is there's not a whole lot there are people applying and doing this, but it's whittled down because it does take initiative. The average high school kid is not gonna jump on this, just start writing essays and doing all this stuff voluntarily. And so that is good news. That's good news for players with the initiative. Now, where's it, where it help from a baseball standpoint? Again, the big deal is if a player can get an opportunity either to walk onto the school that they would like to go to to play baseball, which means there's no scholarship money there, or Division three universities that do not allow baseball scholarships, all of a sudden they have a great opportunity at Division three university to play baseball. It's a great baseball program. Uh, they develop players that even go on to the minor leagues and move on. Um, and then they, they, they really feel like their degree can be there. They, they have a solid academic program. And they want to go there, and there's no academic there's no baseball money. They might qualify for a little bit of merit money through the university, but then they're still left with a lot of Division threes or private schools are still left with thirty, forty thousand dollar tuition bill each year. That's really unsustainable for most kids. So we're looking at one hundred and fifty thousand dollars over four years of tuition. And so when kids start doing things like this, now all of a sudden that can become possibility if they're able to start really uh, attacking that. When I say the big number of the four years of tuition, a lot of these are actually um, renewable each year. And there's some that are and some that aren't. You have to look through it. But that's the other great part. Once you start accumulating some of these, if you meet some different criteria where you do well in your first year of college, those can continue on as well. So we'll talk about merit scholarships and how to qualify for those at certain universities, how to look for them in the future. But I wanted you guys to kind of know about this. Uh, people don't know about this, and it will pay a lot of dividends for players just sitting down and going through this. Um, the other portion here is I want to go through one more thing with you. Okay, so we have, I want you to kind of look at all the different categories. So scholarships for military members. So if, uh, if, so I think this is more, this is more here looking at, so they have children. So children of veterans, which is going to be the, the, you know, your son, if you're watching this, or if you're a player, if your parent has been in the military. So they have a lot of, a lot of those there. They have minority students. So depending on the different categories here. They have religious scholarships, depending on your affiliation. And so it gets kind of cool. You can actually start getting into the things that really interest you when you're doing this. So, you know, if you're, you know, if you're a devout Baptist and, and that's, that's, that's what you really want to spend some time writing about it and you enjoy it, obviously you'll jump into there and you'll do some scholarships, some essays, some things that are around that topic. Um, and then same thing for military. And then merit-based, there's another way to do the merit-based, which is more specifically to the university. But that is the attack method. And if they will just spend two, three hours a weekend doing this over the course, there's a lot of students that will not have to actually work during college. Or if they're playing baseball, they won't come out with a big lump of debt and they'll be able to hit the ground running. So highly encourage it, unigo.com. There's another little hack as well. If you spend some time, if the player spends some time really looking at, at the different kinds, they're able sometimes to parlay what they're doing in school, which is something that we encourage, something they're doing original in school, to parlay that into uh, submitting them for scholarships. So if they have an essay in their English class and it's on something, if you go through this and you spend enough time, you can find different essays that you can either tweak just a little bit or they're literally around that actual topic and you can, can submit them and as long as you know they're your own original work just because you use it for your school doesn't mean you can't use it for this and so a lot of students are able to parlay the good work they've done last year that they've saved on files and be able to pair them up and match and uh, it just takes a little bit of time a little bit of effort but very worth it and uh, we'll talk to you later